Welcome Tina to the Marley Show. Now backstage is Tina's boyfriend of 10 years, Kyle. Tina says from day one, Kyle has been possessive over her, willing to fist fight any man who looks at her the wrong way. And so as the years went on, Kyle began to direct his aggression towards Tina. And now Tina finds herself fighting back, but is terrified that they're both spiraling down a mutually violent path that will ultimately destroy their family. Watch. I love my boyfriend, Kyle, but he's really starting to scare me. Kyle is so insecure. When he sees men look at me on the streets, he attacks them. He's walked up to other men and told them that they can have me like I'm a piece of property. Every time Kyle controls me, he beats down my self-esteem. I am the mother of his kids, and he calls me a dumb bitch and a bad mom. I got tired of being mentally abused, so I started sticking up for myself, and it only made matters worse. We were arguing one night because Kyle thought I was cheating. He grabbed me by my throat and choked me until I almost passed out. I've been slapped in my face over 10 times. When my kids see us fighting, they start crying and they get upset, and I can't take it. I love Kyle, but I can't take this anymore, and I need him to change. You have kids? Yes, we have two kids. How they've been affected by this? Because one's um, old enough to, to yeah. kind of understand. They both don't even, you know, cry anymore, show any affection to our arguing. They're kind of numb. They're very numb. Because they've seen so much. And by the way, if truth be told, you, when, when he fights with you, you fight back. I do now. I do now. He calls you every name in the book. He calls me a whore, a slut, a bad mom. He tells my kids, your mom's a whore, your mom's a slut. You ever cheated on him? Never. I've never cheated on him, not one time. And you've had to take a lie detector I, test. I wanted to take the lie detector test to prove to him. So <laughs> I'll, I'll do anything to try to get him to stop. You might as well hear from him, OK? Everybody. We've given Tina a lie detector test. We're going to get those results. But first, right now, take a look at what Kyle had to say when he sat down with one of our producers last night. As a man, all I've wanted was more control of the relationship. My girlfriend, Tina, makes me think she's cheating on me. Tina's lied to me. That's why I don't trust her. When she makes me angry, I call her a worthless bitch. When I see other men looking at Tina, I jump right in their faces. I'm not afraid of a fist fight. I've smacked Tina in her face and I've choked her. Tina calls me names and puts her hands on me too. And I'm not gonna have that. If Tina would quit lying to me and hiding stuff, we wouldn't have these problems. Tina better pass the lie detector test or we're not gonna make it. So, did she say anything that doesn't ring true to you? Everything she said happened. All the fights? Yeah, all the fights. Yeah. You fight with other guys? Yes, I you do. Because you think the other guys are what? Looking at her the wrong way. Yeah, and she's looking at them. Why are you so convinced that she's cheating on you? Because I've caught her talking to guys on Facebook and this and that. I've never cheated on you. Not one time. The oh. whole time. Never cheated on you. OK, well, we'll find out. We're going to find out today, and this is going yeah. to stop, or I'm gone. <laughs> Kyle, you love your kids? Yes, I love them very much. Then why would you tell her mother she's worthless around your kids? Because she says the same stuff back to me. Did you choke her one time to the point where she didn't really know whether she was going to? I've choked her. In the bathroom, you locked us in the bathroom, and you choked me until I was slowly falling to the floor. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You know you did. There are some extenuating circumstances about Kyle that I think everybody should understand. And he's very self-conscious about talking about it, but, but it's important to address, OK? Kyle, you don't read, and you don't, you don't write. No, I don't. And it's, because, it's because you suffer from some dyslexic problems. Yes. That's got to be very heavy on you, isn't it? 
Yeah, it is. You think that might explain one of the reasons why you act out this way? It could be. I know it's the problem because when he does see me on my phone and he does snatch my phone up, he will look at it without me being able to explain what's going on before he asks. It escalates in two seconds and there's no stopping it. And because my phones are he has, broke. He has every trouble time. reading on the phone. Because he doesn't understand. And he so he don't believe me when I try to explain it to him because he thinks I'm making words up. Dr. Tiffany, do you think that this can impact this relationship? I think that it can. I think overall, and I think we're seeing this with all of these cases, that there's a lot of insecurity. And my question for the men really is why they stay. If you're with women that you really do feel are cheating on you, if you feel like they're lying to you, if you feel like they're disrespectful to you. You know what I think they would answer? Well. They all love them. Well, no. You don't believe that? No. You don't believe that? No. You don't believe they love them? No. <laughs> love, does, that, that, does that look like love? No, this doesn't look this doesn't look like love. I think that what they know to be true is that there are a lot of women that would not put up with this. And there's not a lot there's not a lot of places to go. There's not a lot of places one, one to go. Question, because this is a, a little different sure. here on this end. Sure. Because she's fighting back. Is that good or bad? When she started fighting back, it got worse. It's escalated. Right. It hasn't gotten better. What's going to make this better is if the fighting stops, period, okay. on both ends. During your relationship with Kyle, have you had any sexual contact of any kind with any other man? You said no, and the lie detector test determined you are telling the truth. <laughs> Now, my next guest has traveled across the country because he can relate to every man on this stage. And it's for that reason that he believes he can help you guys. He's a former wide receiver for the Denver Broncos. He's also a reformed abuser who recently opened the Vance Johnson Recovery Center to help other people get their lives on track. Everybody, please welcome my friend Vance Johnson. So, Vance, yes, sir. you've heard these stories. Oh, my gosh. You were an admitted abuser. I heard my story. Good morning absolutely heard my story because I was abusive to my, my wife. I thought she was cheating on me. I ran home, actually ended up uh, throwing her across a bed. She hit her head against the closet door. She wasn't even breathing. And I'm saying that on national television. I carried her to the bedroom and I, I took her in the bathroom and put water in her face and she started breathing and I still believed that she was cheating on me. So you know what I did then? I went on national television to apologize about my abusive behavior, but then my fix was just going to get married again and again and again. Seven different times I got married. And I cheated on all of them. So this abusive behavior, and when I'm hearing guys, there's some mental health issues that we're dealing with. And so just because they passed their lie detector test, there's work to do on me. Yes. Right? You get it, guys? Absolutely. Absolutely. But there's hope for these guys. Oh, man, of course there's hope. Maria. I heard it. There, there, and there is love, but it's just not love that you're showing. Here's the thing. You've opened two recovery centers. Yes, you've, sir. Se you've seen improvement yes, from I have. people. Yes, I Yes, absolutely. I have uh, the Vance Johnson Recovery Center. It's actually one in Las Vegas, Nevada, and one outside of Orlando. And what we're doing is we're helping people that are suffering with mental illness, dual diagnosis. There's hope, guys. So you're going to talk to these guys. Yes. Dr. <laughs> Tiffany's going to talk to these women. And hopefully the seeds of change can be planted here Ooh. today. Right after the show with psychotherapist Dr. Tiffany Henry. If I take this lie detector test, if I take this paternity test, that will fix it. It's going to be okay. It's not. These three victims of domestic abuse poured their hearts out in an emotional therapy session. I feel like I'm stuck and I'm trapped and I have nowhere to go. Dr. Tiffany stressed how important it is for these women to empower themselves. What you guys can't do is make them change. That is something that they have to do. At the exact same time, former NFL star Vance Johnson was working with the men. Trust her, right? I know how hard it is, man, but just trust her. How do you apologize for something like that? How do you apologize? Man, you get on your knees, man. And you say, honey, I love you. And I'm gonna put myself up for you. And so now that you've passed this test and you're not a liar, let me show you how truthful I am. Let me love you. With these life-changing counseling sessions behind them. You're powerful and you deserve to be loved in the way in which you want to be loved. All of these couples were brought back together to hopefully start a new future. 
So I'm sorry for what I've done to you, for everything. I do love you, so I'm changing. Okay. Let's see. You are not the father. <laughs>